video with Karen Zima. Today I'm very excited to be working on this lovely landscape. Don't have a title for it yet, but I will very shortly before I'm finished with my video, because I always do. Something will come to mind. And um, I don't know what to tell you, but it wasn't really that hard to create. It just started out with the clouds. Very fluffy, summery day. Uh, the tree I kind of put in that uh, almost last. You know, I put in the mountains next, with all the beautiful tones of the mountains and the water. The water was so fun to create, just swirling colors around and letting things happen. And then the rocks, uh, put the rocks back there for interest, and the tree. One lonely tree. So, nice summery, summery day with white clouds, blue sky. We have a little bit of a hillside coming down. It's not a very steep mountain, just like a hillside. And some lower embankments. Here we're going to have water just flowing. So I want your eye to come down, flow to the tree, and then maybe flow this way and maybe circle around again. That's my intention. You, know, you don't want your eye to leave the painting. You want it to keep flowing around. And then this embankment, just going to be right down there to sort of frame the tree and catch your eye even more. So, let me get my palette and get my colors and we'll get started on this. I can't wait. Okay guys, now some of the colors. Let me show you my palette that I put out. We're going to start with the sky. I'm going to mark in maybe a couple branches so I know where, where the tree is so I don't lose it. Um, let's see. And we'll just start with the sky. Here, here is the colors I put up. We have a Pathalo blue, a sky blue, a brown, a black, a white, of course. And we have two shades of purple, like a Concord grape, and then a lighter lilac -y, more lilac purple, lighter. Then we have a Cadium yellow, a, two different shades of orange. This one's more spicy, and this one's uh, you know, more pumpkin-y. And then a very light, lemony yellow. And that's my palette. And that's what we're going to start with. I will put the greens out later and refresh my palette as I use this up. We are going to start putting in the sky with a light, just a light blue. Let's just start. I think I need that right now. So I mix my colors on. And let's just Gently swipe in the sky. Swipe it in. I'm going to go right over. Right over. Well, that is charcoal, so um, before I do that, I'm going to put in a couple branches. This guy is going to be pretty, pretty much white, I think. But we'll get to that. Let's get those branches in. And take a brown. All right, so I have a branch. And then I'm going to let it dry so it doesn't you know, get messed up. If I did it right now, it would not stick. That's our tree. And there's going to be some leaves on it, but it's going to be very, very sparse.
more in the distance, so I'm going to make that one like that a dark purple. It's going to be coming, let's say. This mountain over here is going to be like yellow tones, yellows and oranges. So it's going to clash, not clash, but yellow and purple look spectacular together. So it's going to be a mountain in front of it, like that.
next thing I'm going to do is put another coat of another layer. It's going to go a little lighter than that. And I'm going to just start, I uh, have like this grayish, gray color with a little hint of blue in it. And I get a bristle brush. I'm just going to kind of uh, sweep it back and forth.
legs of our painting. Yay! We're going to spruce it up. I'm going to spruce up the water. See what I can do here. I've got a baby blue. And I think right about in the center. I just want some more blue tones. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. of all the colors in the painting in these mounts. A little embankment. Um, very happy with it. Hope you guys had fun. If you did, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching me create this. And please, please, please leave a comment. I love reading your comments. And one more thing. Keep on practicing. Till next time. Bye-bye.